Some relief tonight for Cambodian refugees fighting deportation, but it comes too late for one man. 11 Alive's Elvin Lopez is here to explain. Elvin? Yeah, Jeff, a judge now putting a temporary stop to immigration raids on the Cambodian community. ICE now has to give a 14-day written notice before handcuffing a Cambodian national. It's something that could have helped Sivak Yang's case, but came too late. He loves sport. Yeah, volleyball, you know, all kinds of sport, but mostly he, he loved volleyball. A passion Sivat Yang found when he came to the U.S. as a refugee at a young age. We've been here almost 35 years. Going back to Cambodia, he doesn't read or write the language. He barely speaks it. His sister Joanna says the family is now torn apart, a Christmas tradition. Secret Santa. Now gone. And as of last year, you know, since he weren't here for Thanksgiving, Christmas, we decided not to do it. A tight-knit family of nine who came together fleeing the Khmer Rouge. But now torn apart when Sebat was deported in December. In 1999, Sebat committed a very serious offense, uh, one in which he was sentenced for. He had served five years in prison. Two decades ago, when Sebat was in his 20s, he pled guilty to a drug trafficking charge. He was then sentenced to 20 years in prison. Of those, he served five in custody and was released on probation. He had then sort of rehabilitated from his mistakes, mentored a lot of young people, at-risk youth, uh, and sort of provided his life back to the community. Living and working in the U.S. on a work permit until he received a notice from ICE. In Savat's case, it was particular in that he received a notice to attend a check-in within a week. Something that his attorney, Van Wynn, says is unusual. And within three months, he was deported. It's just unfair. He works and pays taxes and... He didn't cause any other trouble. In that interview, Sivas' sister told me his driver's license was taken away, but he still had a work permit and went to work for decades on a bike or hitching a ride, making the best of it. Now his family just hopes to be reunited soon.